Next on Body Work. All you're going to be seeing is the back of this oh. one. The <laughs> guy's snake in the toilet. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Leo, what do you think? Is this too big? Hey, man. No. <laughs> Plastic surgery was a response because he left me for a 28-year-old woman. Boy, you look like hell. Oh, my God, I look Quasimodo. Today's the day. We're going down. I can change my Hey, Bet, you got a minute? Yeah. I want to show you something. Yeah. Come to my office. Okay. One thing about all plastic surgeons is they're, they're generally egomaniacs. I mean, every one of us thinks that we're the best plastic surgeon to walk the face of the earth. You know how uh, Dr. Kelly and I are doing the race car driving thing this weekend? Yeah. Where do you see this? This Sunday is race car driving school for Dr. Kelly and I. Kind of a gift and kind of a challenge for him. You know how everybody calls him the Terminator? Yes. That is awesome. Where did you have that done? The Terminator. That Wait. is perfect. You're fired. <laughs> the people in the office call me the Terminator because I'm the one who usually gets the responsibility of letting someone go. He's only going to be able to see the back of my helmet because I'm going to be about 300 yards ahead of him. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs> That's what he's going to be seeing. Septoplasty and rhinoplasty, which is a nose job. The, the nose deviates to the right a little bit, so at night I can't breathe, and I basically have an obstructed airway on one side. I almost made that by a nose. What nose? Your nose? My nose? My brother, my mother, and my sister have had the deviated septum and the rhinoplasty done. It's a family affair. Some people have bar mitzvahs. We have nose jobs. I want her tested for steroids. <laughs> Can't take steroids two weeks before a nose job. Well, you know, like when Halloween comes around, like they have all these like witches and the front goes down and there's like a wart, you know. You know, minus the wart, that's what I see when I you know, when I look in the mirror. So you're nervous? About, about losing to you or about surgery? <laughs> about the surgery. Yes. Me and my brother Sal are very close. I can talk to him about anything except other guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, if I make it. <laughs> The surgery's gonna go smooth. Oh, Jesus. How about if I make it? How about if you miss it? It'll go smooth. <laughs> All right, deal. <laughs> Whoops. You're jerking, huh? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good, and you? Great. Nice seeing you. You too. Well, I can't believe how old you've got. I know. <laughs> your, your brother's doing well? Yes. I met Jessica uh, 10 years ago when I had operated on her brother's nose. So you're interested in having your nose done, huh? Yes. Okay. Well, I can't breathe, actually. Right, right. You have, I think you look like your, yeah, your septum is really pushed over here. It's very difficult sometimes in patients like her to correct the outside without fixing the inside. Yeah, your septum is completely pushed over. So when you sleep this way, this airway is open. But if you sleep this way, that's blocked and that's blocked. Okay, so we're going to do a couple things. First of all, you have this very crooked piece here. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Wolf asked me, you know, what, what do you want from your nose? And I just thought, I just want something I can breathe out of that doesn't have a bump or doesn't dip at the end. We're going to take this bump down, right? which will bring the tip up slightly right. and narrow it a little bit. And that will make your nose look much straighter. Okay. Now the other thing is you're rather tall, so we don't want to give you a tiny little nose. If you make it too small, going up, people are going to be looking right into her nose. And that's not an attractive aspect. We're going to do this under either IV sedation or general, and, I, and it really it depends on how anxious you are. Right. The thing is, my brother got really, really nauseous after surgery. Okay. Because uh, he went under general. Went to, well, let me tell you, 
you want to try to do uh, IV sedation, we'll do IV sedation. And if you're uncomfortable, then we'll do general. Okay. My brother said that if he could do it all over again, he would have done local anesthesia. Because the last thing you want to do after surgery is curling. <laughs> it is a shame your, your brother had that experience, so you'll, you, get, you get very anxious just thinking about yeah. it. Let me take some pictures of you. You get a reasonable idea of what, what you're going to look like. Great. I think here in South Florida, people are definitely more conscious of their bodies than they are of their faces. You can't cover up here. There's no hiding your body here. It's out there. For those of us who do a lot of body surgery, it's a good thing. And even if it's just a little tiny tuning and somebody can have it, they're likely to go for it because they can. Too high. You gotta catch it. <laughs> catch it, come on. Three. Throw it over my head. Four, two. One more, one more. We're going on the other side, other side. Here we go. Let's go, bring it up. Here we go. Let's get it. Let's... My name is Kathy Suarez, right. and I'm going to be 47 in a couple months. Five. I know it's a little steeper, but it's making you work. You're working those lower abdominals. Let's go. I'm having liposuction and a breast augmentation, which is ridiculous at my age. Want another set like that. Good job. My mother raised me. That The way you looked when you got up in the morning and the way you presented yourself the rest of the day would carry through in your personality and how your day went. Oh, God. And five. I lost my mom, and she was my workout buddy. At 76, she was still working out. She was very athletic. When I lost her, it was like losing a best friend and a mom at the same time. And I just got in a funk. I just didn't want to do anything. And so I finally got up out of bed and decided to do something. Ready? And let's go. Come on. Bring them up. Five. I'm going to get hard as we go. Six. Come on. I don't work. Seven. I stay at home. I work out Monday through Friday. Nine. Give me two. One more. One more. Leo's my trainer. Back up. All right, you got 15 seconds. Last set right here. Last set. Leo's kind of replaced that void in my life. I'm going to push a little harder on this set now so you don't have to work. He's like my little angel because he's now my workout buddy. You're making me work too hard. That's my job. I know. Yeah, you know that. And ten. Come on. I was pretty negative about plastic surgery, but I never needed any. And as you get older, you learn to not use the never word because it ends up biting you in the butt. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. Give me four. I had my upper and lower eyes done and my nose done with Dr. Wolf. And I had a tummy tuck with Dr. Herman. Good job. Relax. Good job. Kathy's not unlike a lot of people who are very driven to perfection. Let's go. Give me three. Give me three. Give me three. Go. I think that she's at a point in her life where she felt there were some things that needed some tuning up, and she decided to go for it. I had a tummy tuck. Did you? Yeah. Wow. Got a new nice. belly button. I show everybody at the gym my stomach. I'm pretty proud of it. I drive my trainer crazy with that. Why you got to show everybody a little tummy tuck and stuff like that? I like sharing. You know how that made me look. So? I care how you look. I care how I look. Um, hey, I'm going to be 47. I figure I got three years left to look good. Good job. Good work today. Good job. That was beautiful. The Terminator. All right. There's always a little bit of that spirit in us in the office of competition. All right, I'm ready. I think Dr. Kelly's a little worried. I think he, he thinks that I may already know something or have the edge on him somehow because it was my gift to him. But we're going to play fair, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, Herman, you don't have a chance. I'm a much better athlete than Brad. I have better reflexes. I'm much more coordinated. I'm six months younger than he is, so there's really not a reason to expect him to win. You think you have a chance? Uh, all you're going to be seeing is the back of this one. <laughs> I'll put the dressings on the table. Leave the beer. You don't know already, I'm more than Kathy's trainer. I'm part of the family. They take care of me like, like I'm their son. Oh. Here. Within less than a month of us knowing him, he had to have surgery, and he had nobody to take care of him. And we moved him into our house, and we took care of him. 
And ever since then, he's been part of the family. <laughs> Leo is a very positive, upbeat kind of guy. And believe me, he's very involved with us. So how big are you making your boobs? A B. I'm not going really big. I'm just basically going to look like what I look like with my padded bras. And that's my goal. I said, what's a B? A B is my style, a club style. I've known her breasts for 21 years, and I've never asked for them to be any larger. I've never said, you know, well, why don't you get one, you know, or pressured her in any way. It's never been that way. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good. Good to see you. You too. You ready to do this? Yeah. All right. Let me just take one last peek here. Kathy wanted a little bit of an augmentation of her breast, and she wanted just a little bit of liposuctioning around the waist area just to make her waistline just a little bit tighter. We're going to use a, a low-profile implant, which means that it doesn't have a lot of projection. Does that have cleavage? Yeah, yeah. One thing about plastic surgery is it's similar to redecorating your living room. You know, if I just change the sofa, I'd be happy. So you change the sofa, and then you look at the rest of the room, and you go, you know what? Those chairs don't look so great now. What is that rug? And I want to show somebody these first. Oh, you want Leo in here? Yeah. Okay. Leo, how you doing? How you doing? I'm good. Nice you? to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. Too. Is this too big? Say what? <laughs> I mean, this is basically just to get an idea. Hey, man. <laughs> I don't know, though. <laughs> you know I, how I'm self-conscious about that. Yeah. You know, he yeah, says get Dolly Parton. Who does? He I'll said play. that, and my no, husband kidding. said, don't, don't come home not looking like you put anything in there. I guess it's just dawning on me now. People are walking around in scrubs and stuff. This is, oh, this is about as real as it gets. I've never had surgery before, so this is definitely something that is kind of making me a little uneasy. I'm, I'm terrified. Knives, hammers, stuff like that, blood. I mean, I've never gone under anesthesia before, like, full, like, I'm going to. What's your serious side effects with this anesthesia? How often does paralysis happen? Not very often. Hello, how are you doing? My name is Dr. Taylor. I'm one of the anesthesiologists. Okay, and this okay. is local anesthesia, right? Exactly, but you're going to be out, so you won't know the difference. I won't wake up at any point in the surgery. No point during the surgery. I don't want to wake up and see Dr. Wolf working on me. It's just my one fear. It's just be like peekaboo. <laughs> I would definitely stink. So, you so. feeling nice and relaxed? Jessica had trouble breathing, and her nose was distinctly crooked. This thing is pushed over. We're gonna get rid of this, this bone. I mean, you could feel it. Yeah. Feel it yeah. under your, that we're gonna lift it up. Right, but not too high. No, no, no. I, we talk it. about that. Okay. We're gonna make it so. Nothing porky pig No, 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 okay, no, 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 You're too beautiful for that. Are these the good glasses or the bad glasses? Oh, those are the bad ones. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Don't mess with me now. Just kidding. We just mark it like that. This is like a real stuff. This isn't like you see on TV with all those million marks on everybody. I'm just going to mark, I just want to know that we have it here, please. Okay, we're all set. Okay? Okay. What are you doing? You're on my top. How are you feeling, sweetie? I'm good. You calm? Yeah. Better now. I was crying a little earlier. How are you? Because you wanted your mommy. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be over soon, sweetie. Yes. Something to look forward to. Matt, they're bringing her in. All right, here she is. Swing there up you your legs up here. Swing your legs up. I'll watch you. Just relax. Nice deep breath, okay? Take a nice dream. Uh, we'll give you a rest for about an hour. A crooked nose is probably one of the more difficult ones to correct. Her septum's crooked and her bone's crooked, so she's got about three or four different things going. Hey, Bree, see? Now we're gonna rock and roll here.
She's got a really bad septum. Ah! Chubby, bless you. My first process was to fix the septum. With someone who's a crooked nose, unless you know how to do the septal work, you really shouldn't be doing nasal surgery. You have to take her nose, basically separate everything, and then bring it back together without tension so that it stays straight. There's a mother load. That's what she needed right there. See, that's a good airway. Before she had nothing. Now you're doing great. Everything's wonderful. I'm going to take the bump down. I'm going to narrow the tip a little bit. I'll make her nose smaller without making the hump go up. You think she's ready? Yeah, she's ready. Again, again, again. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Oh, Jesus, that was a tough one. Look how nice and straight it is. That is just beautiful. Hey, you did great. Beautiful. You ready to get out of here? And that's a wrap. Your operation's finished, okay? Great. Hey, I'm really tired. I'm not surprised. So what was it? That I'm just like... Calling the servers down? Yes. <laughs> the computer system is like chaotic. It's one day working, two days not working. <laughs> So we're going to be fly, fly by the night? Yeah. That'd be great. So when the computers go down, where's Hector? Has anybody called Hector? Hector's our computer guy. I think we need to put a plate on the door that says his name because he's always here. He should just be here. Everything is in that computer system. Yeah. yeah. We're ready. We're ready. Just now, just now, just now. Just it crashes and we're at a standstill. We can't work. Um, right now, I can't tell you because our computers are down. Okay. Fortunately, I'm from the old school. I have a little black book that I have all my surgeries in, as well as having them in the computer. And everybody tried to wean me away from that black book, but I would not get rid of it. So now, when the computers go down, who do they come to? I've got everything that you're on the chart. Let's see. Yep. Tip tap. Tip tap. It never ends. My name is Rachel Villanueva. I'm 37 years old. I work out a lot and I feel young, but I don't have control over... I don't have control over my stomach. This stomach came from right after giving birth to my son. My mother thinks I'm crazy for having this tummy tuck. Yeah, she goes, and she does, she goes, I've had eight kids and I never had a problem. <laughs> Her stomach is as flat as can be. I wish I had inherited her genes. I can't believe what I see in the mirror. I get disgusted with myself, and it's sad. Stand up for me, and uh, let's just take a look while you're standing. With Dr. Kelly, I automatically felt very comfortable. It's a smile. You don't feel intimidated by that smile. I knew he was the one. So basically, everything from your belly button down, that's all going to be gone. So any of those stretch marks are going to be gone. And you, when you look at this skin up here, it's awesome, you know? Right, right. So you'll have great skin all the way down. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. There's another concern with the stretch marks. Yeah, now we're going to get rid of 95% of those, if not all of them. The abdominoplasty is the most painful operation that I do. Their muscle layer has usually gotten stretched out, so we have to tighten that and put it back the way it used to be. And that part of the procedure is what makes it painful. The surgery is a big gift to myself. I guess the big push for me, the major decision to go for it was I put him for divorce in January. I'll get some tape so we can um, tape the boxes up. I've been married for 15 years. I'll be moving to Texas in August. I have my whole family over there. Now it's going to be all about you and Matt. It's yeah. not always about Michael. You're always worked around him. My husband has never been there for us. It's always been just Matt and I. The main reason I left him is because he left me for a 28-year-old woman. You're not doing it for anybody else. You're doing it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Plastic surgery was a response to filing for the divorce. It's really about me this time. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm glad. I'm happy for you. You made me cry too now, so... <laughs> Wow, that's good though. And it is, I can't wait to go to the beach with Matthew with my bikini on and go dancing. You know, I've always loved to go dancing. How long have I been asleep for? Um, like an hour and a half. 
off, maybe? Who did this to me? Um, Dr. Taylor put you to sleep. Well, tell Dr. Taylor I want some of this for home. You want some of this for home? All right, I was local, right? Local with sedation. You didn't have a general. You can feel my finger to toes. Stuff paralysis. So what's up there, babe? Is this Dr. Wolf? Yes. Dr. Wolf. You did great. I'm seeing two of you right now. Are Let you? me wait till I see one of you. Two is better. Two might be better, huh? <laughs> <laughs> when Jessica came out of surgery, she was a total comedian. She was just hysterical. I'm going to go talk to your mom and tell her that you're fine. Yeah. Okay, you did great. You are going to so, be, I think it's going to be just what you wanted. Did, did you do a good job? Yep, I think it's going to be just what you wanted. I don't see anyone. You who? My nose hurts like a mofo. Hey, my nose hurts. I have some mucus. She woke up. She's hysterical. She is hilarious. You had to come here. Come on. Yeah, okay. Come on, I'll, I'll show you. Our two personality always comes out. Thank you, two pumpkin. But I got some pain in my nose. Yeah, we're going to give you something for that. Okay? Yeah, you guys have all sorts of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Are we done? You're done. You're 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 out. Oh, Bob, your voice is like uh, speed and everything. You mean everything to me, sweetie. I love you, Bob. I love you too, sweetheart. Today's the day you're going down. Racing and surgery are alike in that there's always that element of danger. Ooh. Well, first and foremost, Dr. Herman's going down. If I win, there will be no rematch. Uh, it's a one-shot deal. It's the way it's going to have to be. You know, he's just going to have to take his lumps and be done with it. We're good to go. Hit your black button one time to be sure that's neutral, and then fire him up. <laughs> Dr. Kelly will be in our black car, and Dr. Herman will be in our red car. fun sometimes to live on the edge. I like that. It's what keeps us going. It's our competitive nature. We can't help ourselves. It's a real adrenaline rush being out there on the racetrack and going that fast. Dr. Herman's an awesome breaker. I mean, the guy runs down there, threshold breaks, stands on its nose, just short of locking the tires, and that is awesome. Kelly, on the other hand, doesn't break quite as well, but he comes off the corner pretty harder. He has better exit speed. If you combine the two guys, we'd have a pretty good race car driver. Okay, guys, what a session. I think you got a new career. Well, that is awesome. That is unbelievable. But did they have to put blocks on your pedals? <laughs> Brad, I just had one question. What's this puddle in your car? <laughs> yeah. So obviously, you know, I'm better coming out of the turns. He said I had much more speed. Yeah, but I think I was better coming out of the turn. No, 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 no. He but said really, you were better at braking. I was the better one coming out of the turn. That was because anybody can step on the gas pedal. It's control. I, I hope he gives you the certificate. Best breaker. I don't know. I think you're going to have to take the remedial course again. <laughs> You'll feel a little prick from burning. Ow. With Kathy Suarez, there was a little bit of delay in getting her to sleep because they had difficulty getting her IV in. We will try the other end because I'm not going to keep on beating up. Her skin was just very, very tough from being in the sun. No. Nope. We're not trying to torture you here. Unfortunately, it's a pretty common phenomenon here in South Florida. I'm going to give you a little medicine through here, and then we'll get you off to sleep. All right, so for the extra pokes, I get the door for you here. My spot. Your spot. Your spot. 
We have to. What? It's worth it. It's worth it. Let's hope that this is all working with so many pricks. Should, but there's two, how many pricks two sticks are in the room here? Exactly. It's me and Matt. Exactly. <laughs> I change my face. <laughs> Give you a little oxygen to breathe here, all right? Every man thinks that he knows what beautiful breasts are, that he's a breast expert, but they're wrong. I'm the breast expert. Okay. want just a little bit of liposuctioning around the waist area, uh, just enough to give her a little bit of contour in her waistline. All right, one down. A millimeter more in projection, just a little wider. Despite the fact that we do all these measurements before surgery and in the operating room, there's always some uh, areas that you really can't measure, and that's the space inside a patient. I know she doesn't want to be big, but at least need some width. So what we do is during the surgery is we actually put sizers inside the patient to get an idea of what size implant would fit and give the appropriate size and shape that we're looking for. That's 240. I'm afraid that if we don't use a wide enough implant, she's going to have too big a space yeah. there. So and she's going to hate that. Fit. The muscle that we're lifting off of the chest to get the implant in has really good tone to it, especially in patients who work out a lot. Sometimes it makes it a little bit more difficult to do the surgery. These low profiles are definitely a little thicker, though. Looks good, huh? That's a wrap. It really doesn't make a difference what I think. Oh, looks good. It's really whether or not they're happy. She's the ultimate critic. Hey. Oh, the toilets. <laughs> They've broken down quite a few times. Bring it up close. Move this out the way. It was a stinky situation. snake in the toilet. <laughs> it was pretty stuffed up. I'm just like... Good morning. Good morning. I'm scheduled for surgery today this morning. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Rachel. I'm telling the whole world, all my friends and family, except the ex-husband and my son. Uh, I don't tell my son yet because I'm afraid he's going to tell dad. And um, I don't want dad to find out until the divorce is final. Hi. There you go. How are you? I got to draw on you a little bit. I have to make all my marks now because once you lay down, everything changes right. positions. You know, I do a lot of things to prepare for surgery. It's almost... Uh, like an athlete preparing before uh, a match. I mean, I want to be rested. I want to be in top form. I, I think all of those things really help me to do a good job. I'm expected to have pain. Um, I don't know how severe it will be, but I'll be looking forward to the outcome. What is the result going to be? A little bit of oxygen. Just breathe normal. We'll start to give you some medication. And we'll see you later. Sweet dreams, okay? So what happened? Uh, I was so nauseous. She uh, was really. Really? Yeah. yeah. And I couldn't eat anything. Like, it hurts to eat. So she was vomiting nothing, and it was just dry heat. Oh, my God. I look quasi-moto. 
Well, you look like hell. Oh, <laughs> you know. Hey, at least you're honest with me, dude. Well, you know, if I told you to look great, you know I'd be lying. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do to this poor child? We beat the crap out of you. You the heck out sure of her. did. <laughs> Let me take this hat off. Go for it. Uh, well, at least that swelling that she had here seems to have gone into her eyes, right? Let me take this off. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Is, is this really hurting you? Yes, it hurts the bone. Hurts. It really does, usually doesn't hurt. Usually the oh. next step hurts, not Please this one. Please don't tell me that. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Now we're going to suction it out. Oh, this, this does not hurt. Great. It doesn't hurt, I promise. Does that hurt? Uh -uh. You'll actually be able to breathe for the first time in about 20 years. <laughs> That's it. You see, you can breathe now. Much more comfortable. Yeah. Huh? You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that hurt. <laughs> if you look, you can just see that how this relationship is just so, so much nicer. Oh, yeah. I know when you smiled, that thing was hanging yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. Look, wow. Uh, they, they, try to smile and you see how that thing doesn't point. I can't smile right now. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay? Okay, great. Okay, take Thanks care. Wonderful. Any problems, give me a call. All right. Okay? Bye. Purse, is that yours? No, it's Good, so I'll see you Wednesday. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. For the 14 days. When I was looking at Rachel, I was thinking this was going to be a uh, pretty straightforward tummy tuck. On the other hand, everybody's different. We remove the uh, excess skin and fat in the lower part of the abdomen. We lift up the remaining skin and go all the way up to the rib cage. The fascia is really the strength layer of your abdominal wall. So when women are pregnant, it gets stretched out. And the trouble is, is that you can do setups and crunches and you can make the rectus muscles stronger, but you really don't put them back to where they used to be. So we tighten that layer and it really makes the, everything's flat on the inside. So it's like fixing the underlying architecture. The belly button's like an apple core. When we pull the skin down, I make a little cut. So I pull it out through that incision. Scissor. I keep the sutures on the inside of the belly button so it doesn't leave any visible signs of scarring. That's one thing that I've known for, that, that the belly buttons look very natural when I'm done. This thinny. All right. Rachel, big deep breath. Surgery's all finished. Slow, deep breaths. I just gave you something for pain. The procedure is painful, and, and I want the patient to be comfortable. I ordered morphine and Demerol, whatever you want to give. Sister! I've heard everything went great. He said you're really going to look like a Barbie. I feel like I just worked out my ass setups. Do you? Yeah, I do. If you feel uncomfortable, we can give you pain medication. Yeah, I'm starting to kick in. Okay. I guess you know. Jessica Benchford is coming in today. Hey there. Here I'm with you. Okay. Have a seat. What happened? She was worried that there was a bump on her nose. Yeah. Something uh, happened. Uh, That's very strange. Ow, uh, ow, ow. You're hurting me, Doc. <laughs> you didn't hit yourself? No. It could be that a little bone fragment shifted while she was sleeping. It could be that it was there from the time I operated, which is very unlikely because when I operate, I feel everything, and I, I feel it, and I have Breezy feel it, and then I put water on my finger and I feel it and so it's very unusual here's what I'd recommend what we'll do is we'll watch it worst case scenario we'll let this heal and if I have to all I need to do is shave it just make just make a little incision underneath here we'll give you anesthesia we don't put and then just shave it you see you see just shave it yeah you want that right what I don't
And as I saw you two days ago, and now it's here. But you know what? You still look great. You're going to look great. You haven't. It's just a matter of maybe it's going to be an inconvenience for you. Take okay. care. Bye -bye. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. It sucks. I thought I was in the clear, and now I'm not. So it's just the way it happens. Check and see if you could log into your computer. I know I can't. Uh, <laughs> feel free to fix it. <laughs> Every day it goes down once or twice. Yesterday nobody called me back. So if you can't handle the business or you can't figure it out, then just tell me. Wait, we'll find somebody Here's else. Here's another day that we're. Is it down again? Yeah. Great. So. All right, let me know. The main thing that we need to get into, outlooks, we can't, we can't get into. Hector's our computer guy and he's a little stressed out back there. I took out a ton of skin and you still weren't super tight at the end. Let me take a peek at you. We're going to take some of these dressings off. Most patients who have a tummy tuck don't want to get out of bed. They, they feel like they're swollen and they wonder why they had surgery at all. And actually right now you're a little swollen. Most of these patients are wiped out. I primarily attribute Rachel's rapid recovery to her attitude. I can't believe plastic surgery can accomplish this. I did go from a size four. It's incredible. Hey. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing awesome. moving pretty good. That looks great. I'm going to go ahead and take these little tapes off. I have the scar, but it's in a place where no one can see it. When I look in the mirror, I cry, I tear, I can't believe it. I see this awesome looking body. You should be the poster child for uh, tummy tucks. Because you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're the perfect, perfect patient. You did an awesome job. Well, what's, what's stress do you have? Well, I'm going through a divorce oh. after 15 years of marriage. Oh I have to say I was shocked when Rachel told me that she was going through a divorce. Usually if someone's going through an emotional upheaval like that, that's not the ideal time to be having surgery. You're really a, a rock. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, you know what? Anybody who's uh, divorced and you doesn't and you'll do, you'll do great. Oh. Had I known this before her surgery, I would have been more concerned. The reality is I think she's a rock. It was a perfect kickoff. Best, best present I could have given myself. Ah! Matt, look, this is a good spot right here. My son, Matthew, was completely oblivious to the whole thing. He hasn't put it together. OK, mom's stomach was big, and now it's flat. I love the way I look. You'll be back for my six pack. <laughs> As I was covering Matthew up with sand, I was reflecting back on the moments when I would walk out on the beach with my long t-shirt and big shorts and um, just being totally embarrassed of myself. And now I came out, took off my shirt and shorts and didn't care. I was proud of my body. My ex still does not know. I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> I think it will definitely give me more confidence to start dating again. Though at the moment, I'm not looking for it. Going out on the beach and just knowing that, oh my God, some young guy maybe is even looking at me, at me, a mom. <laughs> it's going to be a beginning, a new start for me. They're pointed. They're supposed to be pointed for a day or two. Oh, okay. Just uh, it's normal swelling. The breasts do look like uh, like cones. They're pointed. The swelling's going to go down. They're not going to be so pointed. They're a little bit fuller at the top right now, mm -hmm. just because they're under the muscle, and the muscles up here, and the muscle gets swollen right after surgery. Okay. So that's the what hurts. Yeah, that's what hurts. You know, I just okay. hope she doesn't poke somebody's eye out with them in the first week. I think the size is going to be perfect. Uh, we ended up going with a little bit wider implant, not a lot of projection. Before I had my surgery, I was okay with how I looked. 
but now I'm just a little bit more okay. I mean, I look in the mirror and, you know, I think I look pretty good for 47. Yeah. True story. I can see in my 50s having a facelift. You know, I don't know. We'll see. You never know what you're going to need. I'm never going to say never. One more time with a whole lot of energy, okay? Just dragging a little bit. Good. Let's do it. Let's get it done. Leo raps all the time mm -hmm. when I'm working out with him. And I started giving my opinion, whether he liked it or not. The next thing you know, we were working together. Do you want it to be perfect? Perfect. Let's do it. Perfect. Yeah. Survivor. Uh. True story. A lot of people ask me, what does this white lady know about rap from Tampa? Yeah. But um, she just caught on with what I was giving her. And plus, I think on the lowdown, like without me knowing, she's been listening to some rap because she's been coming up with some things that I'm like, how you know that? In the depths of my mind's eye, I can't believe it what I see will make a man cry. No, I don't know anything about it, but I'm learning. And I've been looking for something to do for a while. My kids have been wanting me to go back to work. Now it's time for me to do something for me. Something, time for me to move on and have something to do. And this fell into my lap. Let it pass by. That's a wrap. <laughs> Something happened. Uh, That's very strange. Uh, ow, ow. I definitely feel it. Jessica Benchgrid called up in a hysterical fashion that suddenly she had a bump on her nose. So you, you're not crazy. There is something there. No, so you're not crazy. There. What I don't understand is I saw you two days ago and now... Here's what I'd recommend. What we'll do is we'll watch it. I've seen Jessica since that time and she looks great. There's no bump. There's nothing to worry about. Before surgery, I saw this hideous, like, witch nose, like, the worst. And now, I mean, I don't even see that anymore. It's completely gone. All right, Jess, I'm going to aim right for your nose. You break it, you buy it. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, oh, my bad. I don't even remember what my old nose looks like. I look in the mirror, and I'm not, you know, disgusted. I... I can sleep. I mean, it's definitely impacted me a lot. It's just changed everything. Are you meeting any new guys because of your new nose? Uh, not lately. Why? Because there's the hot one right behind you in a speedo. You're sick, man. I was always, like, focused on my profile and just trying to hide it. Somehow, I just, you know, cover it up. But now it's just like I can just be myself. Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> that I beat Mike this weekend. He tried. <laughs> Mike was okay. I think he was driving pretty good, but, you know, he did his match. We had to babysit him a little. No competition. No. I was, you know, I was clearly better than him. <laughs> you know, at one point, the guy told me, he goes, Rand's strength was breaking. I'm like, breaking? How hard is breaking? <laughs> That's your strength? <laughs> I told Brandon I was going to get him a stoplight to put in his office to commemorate his braking ability. I was going so fast all the time <laughs> that I yeah, had to brake to slow it down, to, right. you know, so, wait, so that, so that Mike could catch up. No, you got to push these brakes like three times as hard yeah, as a normal car. That's why I was so good at braking, because I'm so strong <laughs> in the legs. All those years from running away from those women. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With the guns. <laughs> I would call it a draw, but I, I'm looking for a rematch. I can change my face. I can touch and taste. Just like I erase. Just like with a little string. I'm just like you. I'm just like
Coming up on Body Work. <laughs> I do not like how big and saggy they are. No, no, don't touch your nose. You're going to miss your boobs. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Kisha, it's beautiful. And can we find the nipple? I can change my face. 